company today and uh, miss uh, lisa uh, i believe that uh, you are feeling some sort of lumps in your body yeah, i okay. have examined yeah, that i have okay so um, as i've examined them and i'm going to share the examination report with you but before that can you tell me um, something about your symptoms yeah doctor actually i have been having this uh, you can say uh, lump on my in my neck and i was quite mm-hmm. concerned so that i searched the internet so i came to know that it's a serious condition called hodgkin lymphoma um i only know that uh, you know like it's a pre cancer cancerous thing because uh, it was written on the internet so i just have read the internet thing it it's something related to cancer okay so uh, do you have any sort of family history of cancer as long as i remember no okay so do you suffer from any sort of weight loss uh, i'm not sure what about any sort of uh, sweats evening sweats mm, particularly after drinking alcohol okay so you have sweating after taking alcohol okay that's okay yes. okay as i have examined you and uh, after examining you i found that you don't have any sort of lump in your armpit or in your uh, any other part you only have a few lumps uh, in your neck and they don't appear to be any sort of uh, serious nature okay mhm okay. have you heard anything about lymph nodes do you have any know how about lymph nodes no i have no idea about that Okay, you see, in our body we have a chain of lymph nodes. So whenever we have infection or something, uh, they swell sometimes, especially the neck ones. Okay, so okay. Uh, the, uh, now you just uh, you just having the neck nodes at the moment, and these are most probably because of infections. Okay, mm-hmm. so I can reassure you after examining you uh, that uh, most probably you're not suffering from anything uh, like Hodgkin's lymphoma. Okay, mm-hmm. still are you? Uh, what's your concerned? Still are you concerned about it? Uh, if it's not Hodgkin lymphoma, doctor, then what it is? Well, uh, I cannot tell it uh, uh, the final thing that what it is, but most probably it's infection, and for that uh, we have to run some tests, simple blood tests, mm-hmm. and after the test uh, we will be able to uh, convey to you uh, what uh, whether it's infection or something else. But I yeah. showed you most probably it's infection. Okay, doctor, I'm, and I'm also uh, concerned about the. uh mm-hmm. you can say specialist referrals can you refer me to specialist as well after the blood test yeah uh, yeah definitely i will refer you to a specialist and uh, we'll take the blood test and then i will be referring to this to the specialist okay okay, okay. so you, you don't need to worry about uh, it now mm-hmm. uh, after the test everything will be clear okay okay, okay. so uh, to uh, are, uh, do you want to ask me anything else uh no it's fine okay then to summarize it uh, you're suffering from uh, you're, you have some lumps in your neck and for that we are going to run some basic tests and i'm going to refer to the to you to a specialist after that okay thank mm-hmm. you okay thank you very much doctor okay ma'am thank you very much it was fine uh, start was fine and uh, but in the information gathering skills when you are asking or gathering the information regarding the patient associated symptom you have asked all the question almost from the two so this is the time when you show the grammatical range we can ask some some question from two maybe some from is maybe some from what maybe like is there any family history uh, did you notice any weight loss for example or uh, are you being uh, more tired uh, these days okay. so you can ask this question from the variety of question you have assured the patient but particularly you have to work on the tone while providing the empathy and assurance it should be different from the okay. normal sentences right so by putting stress okay. on those parts uh, you have explored the patient concern time and again as per the requirement of the card there were some some pauses like at places you got some pauses over here however uh, you inquired the patient if he is following along uh, then there were some repetition of words like i'm going to i'm going to did you have repeated uh, okay. some time uh, those words right and help so okay. you have any good... hello mr mark uh, please yeah. come in thank you mr mark if i am not wrong today you are here to discuss about uh, the health condition of your son michael yeah and uh, am i right yeah uh, can you tell me how i can help you doctor actually i found an equipment uh, in his room and i believe okay. that being used for taking 
some drugs such as marijuana so right okay. now it's, it's really concerning for me hmm so mr mark i am very sorry uh, 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 to listen about this mr mark uh, can you can you tell me how you are so sure that these equipments are related to your son how you are so, I've, I've so found, sure about this uh, i found in his room okay and you uh, and you saw any change in the behavior uh, of your son yeah okay what kind of uh, change in the behavior can you explain to me uh basically uh he used to be a social bird previously had a good lifestyle okay. uh he, mm-hmm. he had uh you know like four to five friends they were quite fast friend of his all the time he was you know wandering with them and similarly mm-hmm. uh, you can see that um, you know like it, he was quite uh, brilliant in his studies but now it's something you know, that happened to him he's not uh, mm-hmm. you know that much social he, he does, does not have any friends anymore and same is the case with the study okay. okay so mr mark i really appreciate your concern uh, mr mark can you tell me the you have any understanding about the consequences of this uh, taking drugs like marijuana like your son is taking yeah i need to ask you that actually okay and uh, uh, and mr mark also uh, about uh, uh, there is any stress in uh, in your home life in the life of your family in your children no if you don't mind can i can you answer no, no. this okay okay so mr mark first of all uh, first of all really i am very much uh, uh, concerned about your son and i want to see your son in the next appointment you have to bring your son here okay <laughs> i want to examine him basically doctor okay. uh, um, i have discussed this thing with him but he was reluctant he was saying that there is no problem okay. mm-hmm. mm hmm no mr mark you have to convince him you have to say him okay, go to the doctor he will uh, he will do the examination uh, and uh, now these things in the favor of the patients and uh, and also in the management okay mr mark are you uh, are you agree with me up to this point yeah so uh, so there are different method to deal with the condition like this i want to explain you like uh, firstly firstly mr mark first of all uh, we have option to uh, psychologist uh, a psychologist uh, and referral he will do the further assessment and management okay mm-hmm. and uh, and also secondly i want to explain you the consequences of marijuana like this drug can affect the concentration of the person it can affect the studies it, it can affect the coordination uh, in between your family and it will it will change all around uh, the person who is taking the drug mr mark okay okay a doctor can you tell Have me how, made, yeah yes how marijuana can affect yes. young people brain yes it can affect the uh, concentration it can damage the brain and the the life of the uh, the daily activity of the of the person becomes slow and uh, uh, it and it affect the all the social life educational life of the person mr mark okay mm-hmm. so it is very important to, uh, you have to bring your son here and after examination we will decide about the referral of the psychologist who will do the further assessment and the uh, appropriate management okay okay sir. thank you very much sir your time is up so okay sir ji sir okay sir your start was fine uh, you started the card with open ended question uh, don't use i am very sorry uh, why you would be sorry we are not supposed to use those words rather you can use that is totally understandable uh, being a father how you must be feeling for your son if you do found yes, thing in the your children room it's totally understandable rather than you can see i am sorry and regarding the yes, information gathering skills you have asked uh, a generic question rather than specific question because these are some closed ended question that you have to ask one by one first by the lifestyle he used to have then about the friendship circle then about the studies sir, and so on sir wo aapne ji ji maine so yes, then there, then after asking this question uh there was a okay, form sir. that you, you use after lifestyle i really understand your concern there was no point to use this line after this question because this was information gathering skills you have to further move on toward the you know like the next point uh we are not supposed to use these word like i really understand your concern in this art so you can say it's totally okay, understandable that your son is not much interested 
Is there any abnormal thing that you have noticed? Okay. Or then you can ask okay, the person, uh, is it possible that I can see him in person? You should be polite when you were using the, uh, when you were calling the per, uh, per parent to bring your son over here with the polite tone. Is it okay, possible, sir. like if I can see him in person, uh, you know, like is, if, if it's possible? Came to hospital. Well, doctor, please, uh, I want you to admit my daughter in the hospital. Like, I am quite concerned. She being, uh, you know, like she had a dog bite. So okay, yeah. So I'm quite concerned. She's being bitten by a dog. Okay, so sir. Please keep him in between the hospital. This is the hospital emergency department, and I am receiving you today. I saw your daughter. She has been bitten by a dog. So first of all, calm down. You should uh, uh, stay calm so that uh, <coughs> excessive worries may cause further. Uh, decline in your uh, ch uh, child health and your psychological issues so mm -hmm. calm down now uh, i want to know about uh, is th that dog was your pet dog it's my friend pet dog we are visiting a celia yes. uh, we are new, new to the celia actually so okay uh, was the dog uh, vaccinated i think yes okay so uh, then please uh, tell me uh, what was the first aid given to child after a uh, dog bite? Uh, we just have cleaned the area with wound. Uh, we cleaned the wound actually. Okay. With the uh, cl uh, clean water. And That's nice. Yeah. Now I, I want to examine the patient. Can I examine your child? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, she is a five-year-old girl. I want to reassure that uh, Australia has uh, 0% of uh, rabies uh, disease. Now it's uh, free of rabies. I assure you that uh, <clears throat> wound uh, will not hurt the, your child and it will not cause rabies. Nowadays, uh, no antibiotics are recommended for this uh, the treatment of rabies. It is a low risk infection. And I want to clean the wound so that it will not cause any harm to your child. But uh, is there any medication that you give antibiotic I, or anything like that? No antibiotic is needed. Uh, as you know, uh, rabies is a viral infection. And Australia has 0% of uh, rabies infection. Mm -hmm. I want to know the tetanus uh, status of the child. Is she immunized? I think yes. Okay, if she is already immunized, then a booster dose is needed. Mm -hmm. In emergency department, we have a booster dose for rabies. Mm -hmm. uh, we shall uh, inject her with this. Okay. In future, you should take care of this wound. I uh, ask you to review or visit our emergency department within 48 hours. Do mm -hmm. you have uh, any uh, kind of uh, reservation or any issue you want to ask from me yeah it's all my fault i should you know like uh, i should have uh, uh you know like supervise my child in front of like when he was okay. playing uh, with the dog it was all my fault okay yeah and uh, mr mark it's uh, all right uh, human make mistakes uh, there is not a such a big problem that will cause you a harm to your child. It's only you know that Australia is free of rabies. So there are 0 0.001 chances uh, that your child may, uh, got the disease. And it's a minor wound hairline fracture, blind wound, uh, hairline uh, like wound. Mm -hmm. uh, so it will cause no disease. Mm -hmm. uh, I assure you that uh, your child remains safe. If you have any uh, further uh, <clears throat> uh, reservation, do you want to ask? No, it's fine. Are you no. with me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have treated your child. I have cleaned the wound. I am summarizing you the mm -hmm. whole thing that I have uh, treated your child. Now you can go to home and uh, revisit me within 48 hours. And if you have a near veterinary a clinic, uh, go check your dog also. Uh, if he is vaccinated or not. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Are okay, you happy sir. now? Yeah. 
basically i would like to discuss this thing with you uh, the, the thing is uh, it was started as a false start we can be penalized the false start because it's an emergency situation and you can pick the queue uh, by seeing the uh, you can just sign on her face uh, so you can say hello mr mark what happened to this little angel i can see there are some sign mark on her face is everything all right oh yes, so sir, yeah. I uh, we must able to hear about that that she's being bitten by a dog so if you don't mind uh, you know first of all let me show you that uh, you should be uh, relaxed now as you just brought in the hospital okay. and uh, we are going to handle okay, the uh, the patient from here so but for better understanding i would like to ask some question uh, can you tell me like uh, what she was doing uh, when she was bitten by a dog mm -hmm, okay and did anybody uh, notice that thing from their eye okay and what about the first aid given then you can move on do you mind if you can examine there was one thing that you have missed in the examination part and majorly an important thing was after examination the patient you have to show that first of all let me show that the, that your wound is just uh, you know like it's not it's it's it's, it's safe you just no need cleaning okay. and clear and i will guide you about that as well okay. and then the patient will ask you about infection okay. uh, antibiotics you have to tell the patient as basically okay. in this case is close to the uh, you know hairline so there is excellent blood supply uh, and secondly is the recent wound so less likely there is a chance of infection so let me show you yeah. there is no need for antibiotics that point was missing and then followed by the yes. immunization point you have addressed this thing and last but not yes, least sir. that you have to uh, ask the patient is there anything else that you is concerning for you then the patient will ask you like what if i what would how would how would i know actually if he is going to develop the infection uh, then then uh, you have to tell the okay you have to observe the wound closely okay okay and uh, if you have to review again after 48 hours so that we can see any case of redness or pus uh, should not be let it go but still you have to have a close eye okay and i will see after 48 hours yeah. you will have an idea if she's is going to be infected or not okay and last thing you have to do, it's very important you know like when, even when your uh, your kids are playing near the dogs it's very important that you must be close okay. to them okay okay like that name is michael uh okay so mr mark uh, can you tell me uh, what brings you here today well i'm concerned about my child i believe that mm -hmm. in the last 24 hours he has uh, lost a lot of food okay okay so um well mr mark i uh, i really uh, i'm i feel sorry about your uh, child's condition that uh, he is suffering from uh, this uh, uh, this uh, situation right now uh well before i proceed uh further may i know what uh, understanding do you have about your child illness well about what about your child illness i don't know like i'm quite concerned that in the last 24 hours he has uh, you know like lost a lot of fluids okay okay so uh I would like to ask some questions regarding uh, this condition. Can I? Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Mark, do you uh, feel any uh, symptoms regarding your for for which you are worried about your child? So, can you tell me more about your child? What should I tell you? About the symptoms for which you are uh, anxious right now. Yeah, I believe that you know, like uh, he has been dehydrated as he's just okay. throwing up whatever okay. he's eating, and he's also also okay. having, uh, you can say, uh, 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 to see multiple sort of loose motion as well. Okay, so um, can you tell me how many stools he passed today and uh, last night? I think eight to ten times. okay so uh, mr mark uh, would you like me to uh, uh, to tell you about uh, the di uh, diarrhea i mean loose motions conditions uh, uh, first mm -hmm. uh, 
as you tell me that uh, you your boy is passing uh, 10, eight to 10 stool per day so first of all i would like to uh, show you that uh, these uh, uh, th th this quantity is quite uh, normal uh, it, it don't need to be worry more about it because uh, it can be handled uh, carefully but uh, uh, but uh, another thing for which you are worried uh, that is uh, your child dehydration um, let me examine your child first okay okay well i examined your child and uh, he is uh, he is he, his appearance is uh, well uh, and uh, he is active boy so uh, you don't need to be worry about it because he is not uh, dehydrated anymore okay no oh, but i am concerned that he has lost lot of fluids so how can he say that he is not dehydrated um sorry mr mark can you uh, i am saying that again? he has lost lot of fluids mm -hmm. how can you say that he is not dehydrated oh. okay okay mr mark i understand what you are saying um your concern uh, about uh, the the he, he is passing stool and uh, uh, passing urine uh, for that purpose you are asking uh, but uh, uh, first I, as i told you before that uh, 8 to 10 times uh, the, the stool quantity is normal for a child so uh, don't need to be worry and uh, uh, the second thing i i would like to uh, uh, recommend you, for your child that is a, uh, a saline glucose solution you can uh, give him uh, as much you can uh, after every passing stool you can give him a one uh, feeder uh, one feed of uh, saline glucose solution <laughs> and uh, am i made uh, am i make clear myself do you understand what i am say, uh, what i told you yeah yes so mr mark uh, if you have if you have any question uh, which i told you up till now you can ask me first mr clear no like what would you uh, help, you know, what would you give the patient as a treatment yes so uh, mr mark uh, the for this condition there is the uh, no further treatment for your child they this is just a careful uh, condition which uh, you you should you should just be careful to give him a uh, liquid uh, as much you can uh, give him and uh, the other thing which uh, i would uh, appreciate uh, the breast feeding for the child it mm -hmm. it is very necessary yes and uh, you can uh, uh, uh yes uh, this is very necessary thing which i explain you uh, for, uh, for more thing you can ask me if you have any question please mm, no what about the diet well uh, you know uh, this is uh, just a uh, 10 months old uh, boy so uh, you know the child diet uh, as you are providing him that is uh, much uh, enough for him so you can continue that but uh, again for, with the breastfeeding is uh, much better for him okay okay yeah so um, the child uh, may refuse the food initially but you can try again and again then uh, it became habit for him, okay? thank you very much ma'am your time is up okay ma'am start was fine uh, you asked open question but there was no those question initially uh, you ask about the generic question again you did not ask symptom directly when i ask you what symptom you are so you are asking okay, a generic question be specific like how much time how many episodes he has had for the loose motion and uh, mm -hmm. what about the vomiting frequency he, these are some of the questions you have to ask specifically and uh, so thirdly but there, uh, there there was no vomiting mention so can i have we ask about you this? i have mentioned in my response to the open ended question that he, in the last 24 hours he has been throwing mm -hmm. up right and he has passed multiple stool so that was the response mm -hmm. of uh, my open ended question so being a doctor mm -hmm. you have to ask mm -hmm. uh, this question like how many episode of loose motion is having or uh, what about the frequency of uh, you can say uh, loose motion secondly no, sir, i want to ask okay okay sorry 
they also you have they have mentioned about that uh, you have to ask about uh, if he is passing urine regularly and most importantly mm-hmm. regarding the dehydration you have to show the patient mm-hmm. that uh, if you can see the child is playing happily on the floor number one and secondly he has been passing urine mm-hmm. regularly so this this is a sign of assurance okay. for you we have to use this thing okay so okay. yeah there was one grammatical mistake you use am i made myself clear you can use have i made myself clear oh, and that yeah okay swab my general practice um may i ask you what what made you visit us today well actually uh, my spouse have just noticed a dark spot on my lower back and okay. uh, i don't know how long i'm having this lien on my lower back but we are really concerned that it could be something very serious so i'm here so that you can see it and i would appreciate if you can you know like remove this okay let me examine your mark and then we can um, have an opinion can be so uh, miss mina after examining your um, mm-hmm. lesion on your back which your spouse noticed it looks mm-hmm. to uh, be uh, um, benign or <laughs> you can say it's not a dangerous lesion it may be a birthmark or it may be a nevus which is um, uh, present maybe a long time on your back and it was unnoticed uh yeah like i have not never noticed this thing and even it was not painful <coughs> mm, yeah so okay. this was highlighted by my spouse okay and uh, uh, as you have recently noticed this so you don't know since when it is present and yes. uh, um uh, so you also don't know uh, how is uh, it has increased or uh, it is like this do, do you have any other symptoms like pain or um, uh, itching uh, with this mark no okay so uh, most probably it is a birthmark or a mole and uh, i i don't think so it's a um, cancerous thing yeah, it can be a cancer but um, um it can be a cancer and uh, well, I, say, i would appreciate uh, if you could can, remove this because can, i'm concerned yeah okay so what um, why you are so worried about this well, actually i um, i'm i'm concerned that it could be cancerous thing Okay, what made you think that this is? A... I'm having both the families of cancer. So you have a... okay, you have a family history. So um, was it a close uh, family member? Yeah, my father died of cancer. Oh, okay. Sorry for your uh, um, Miss Samina to listen about this. Then, uh, if you are that much concerned. Uh, what we can do we can offer you uh, you know excision of this uh, mark or mole we will excise it or we will um, remove it with a healthy margin and we will send it uh, to histopathologist so they can see there under their microscope and they can give us detailed report about this lesion so if you agree um if you are that much concerned i can offer you um, okay. the biopsy okay. and do you think i need a chemo or radiotherapy as well uh, actually um um if if your report comes that uh, if it your report comes that it's a cancer and or it looks like malignant then uh, we ha- we can refer you urgently to a surgeon so they can remove a well circumscribed margin of this uh, uh, mole and uh, and they can probably also offer you some chemo and radio if it if it proved to be cancer on biopsy okay so um uh, i at this moment i think it is a not cancerous and it looks to me a birthmark or a lesion which is present um maybe 
unnoticed for many years. And uh, uh, we can, if, uh, we can remove it in our own clinic uh, under local anesthesia. And yeah. it's a simple procedure. And um, we will get the report in a few days. And then we will decide you need to be referred to a surgeon or not. Also, what if my fear turn out to be correct then? If your fears are not correct, um, uh, definitely that depends on the biopsy report. And if the biopsy report is uh, not good and it indicates towards the tumor, then we have to refer you to the surgeon. Okay. But um, uh, most, uh, but to me, it looks to be benign. And we, we will treat it like thank benign. You. Okay, thank you. Prime Minister. Okay, ma'am, it was fine. Uh, you have read the card as per formality. You started okay. with open, followed by closed ended question. You have also explored okay. the patient concern, why he was concerned about this lien. Okay. But you are using medical term. Try not to use them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I think it was fine. The rest of the thing was fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Well, my name is Mark and I'm 50, doctor. Okay. Mr. Mark, I am one of the doctor working in this emergency. How can I help you? Well, actually, doctor, I have dropped around 50 kg of weight. So, 50 kg? Sorry, 20 kg of weight on my foot. So, okay. so while working at the gym, I got distracted. So um, I, it's quite painful, doctor. You know. So uh -huh. please, you can see there. Oh yes, oh, I'm very sorry to hear about this all, and uh, I want to examine your foot. Mm -hmm. Can I proceed? Yeah. Okay, in case of pain, uh, you told me I will stop examining you, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I examined carefully and uh, I came to the conclusion that uh, your uh, whole foot is not broken. It's just a little toe, okay? But doctors feel like it's whole foot, you know, it's, it's quite painful. Yeah. Uh, I can understand your misery, but uh, only fortunately or unfortunately, your little toe got broken. Okay, mm -hmm. so to confirm it, uh, to confirm it, I am going to take uh, a very quick look on X-ray, and uh, it, it revealed that uh, only a little toe is broken. Okay. Okay. Uh, now the question is, uh, what should we do? Do you have any other concerns else than pain? Uh, yeah, doctor, would, yeah, that's, that's I was about to ask you. Uh, what has to be done for the, you know, like, management of this uh, little toe? Mm -hmm. I, can, I can understand your uh, concerns. And it will heal by itself with proper care. And this proper care will include uh, is elevation of the foot and ice packing around the toe. And you need to take a uh, rest for a couple of days and uh, you need to avoid putting weight on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you following me? Yeah, I do. Okay. And beside that, I want to give you uh, a painkiller to relieve your pain. Okay. Okay. And simple paracetamol or panadol will suffice it. Okay. Okay, but but you you need to uh, avoid putting weight on two for about six weeks. Am I right? Yeah. Am I clear to you? Are you following me, Mr. Mark? Yeah, I'm following you. Okay, do you have any other concerns? Yeah, doctor, uh, I was thinking that um, you are going to apply a, a cast on my foot okay. because it's broken. Okay, 
Mr. Mark, I can understand your concerns, but the thing is, cast will not cover your little toe, okay? And rather than providing benefit, it will harm you. But so, what happens in case of cast? It, it will cause immobility of the other muscles of the leg, and which hampers your rehabilitation process and healing process. Am I clear up till now? Yeah. I hope you are getting my point. Yeah, I'm following you. So, so instead of cast, I I want to uh, apply a splint on your toe, and that would be more beneficial than cost. Mm -hmm. Because, because what happened? This splint will this splint will avoid uh, bearing weight on your toe, and uh, so in in that way, it will help in healing. Okay. Okay. So can I summarize for you? Yeah. So Mr. Mark, uh, fortunately your uh, whole toe is not broken. Only the little toe is damaged. And uh, with certain criteria of care, like uh, elevation of the foot, ice packing, rest for a couple of weeks. And uh, by not uh, putting weight on this toe, it will heat automatically. And you will not uh, need any application of cast. Instead, I am going to apply a splint on your toe. Okay. Yeah. And okay, to sir, thank, you pain, to thank you. Okay, sir. It was fine, but it should be started with differently. After introduction, hello, my name is Dr. Hatim. I'm doctor in the department. Okay, I just have done your examination, and uh, you know, I can uh, uh, from my examination, uh, I believe that your toe is just broken. As I can see that you were admitted in the hospital with a 20 kg of weight drop on your foot while you were doing uh, gym. So, but we can say that after examination confirm, it's just the little toe. And fortunately, it might not need the uh, you know detail management. So, if you allow me, uh, or yeah, is it clear to you? Or you have any question? If they don't ask a question, then you can move on toward the management. So, in terms of management, what you can do is you have to alleviate your uh, from foot. In addition to that, you can also apply the ice. You know. Secondly, try not to put weight over there, and as much as much as you can. Okay. So, yeah. So, anything else that you want to ask? Good morning. Uh, please have a seat. Thank you. Uh, may I confirm your name, please? My name is uh, uh, Mike, Michael. Uh, okay, Michael. Uh, my name is Dr. Maksuda and I am your attending doctor today. Uh, so, may I ask you what brings you here today? Well, actually, uh, I have pain just over my uh, eyes and uh, I previously had shingles. So, do you think is it related to shingles or what, doctor? Okay, uh, so sorry to hear about that. Uh, do you have uh, any idea about what uh, these singles are? Uh, uh, yeah, I do have some idea about this pain. Uh, previously, I had singles, so uh, I think it's something related to, uh, we can say, a nerves-related problem. Okay. Uh, would you like me to explain it for you further? Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, as you already know, that shingles uh, is, a, is, is a type of viral infection uh, that affects your nerves, usually on your face. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, um, uh, first of all, a rash develops. And uh, right now, you are not having that rash. That rash disappears. But uh, the pain, it will take time to go away. Okay? Are you getting me? Yeah, I'm following you. Okay. And uh, right now, uh, your concern is that uh, you are feeling the pain. Right? So, yeah. uh, so I will uh, tell you different uh, methods uh, that will uh, ease your pain. Would you like me to explain it for you? Yeah. 
ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गिव सम एनर्जेटिक्स लाइक पेन किलर्स दैट विल रिलीव योर पेन लाइक पैरास्टमोल और कोडीन ओके और डॉक्टर सिंपल पेन किलर नो नो फर्स्ट आई विल आल्सो रेकमेंड यू अ क्रीम ओके यू हैव टू अप्लाई दैट क्रीम ऑन योर इफेक्टेड एरिया and uh, let me tell you first that uh, that uh, uh, topical ointment that i will uh, give uh, advise you that will uh, sting a little bit or maybe you will uh, have a cough or sneeze so don't uh, worry about that okay okay uh, are are you getting me yeah i'm following you okay and uh, still we have many other options uh, if you if your pain is not relieved by this then i will also uh, advise you some other medications like uh, gabapentin or pregabalin what about okay. a surgical option doctor um be, uh, on the basis of my opinion surgery is not uh, necessary in this case um uh, because um uh because this pain uh, is basically because of uh, this is uh, nerve pain okay and mm -hmm. uh, we will uh, we have many other options so we don't go for the surgery in this case okay surgery mm, okay are you getting and what me? about yeah i'm following you what about the uh, some other treatment because i'm more interested in uh, uh, you know like non pharmacological treatment yeah we have also non pharmacological approaches like first of all uh, we have also that relaxation therapies like meditation or uh, you can i can also refer you to psychologist uh, and uh, also to the chronic pain clinic they will uh, also advise you some methods uh, that will relieve your pain so uh, it, they will also help you out and um, it uh, let me assure you that uh, this pain will uh, take some time to go away but i will do uh, um, um i will do my best to help you in this mm -hmm. so do you have any other questions not at this time uh, have i made myself clear yes okay let me summarize it for you uh, you came to me uh, with a neuro uh, with a nerve pain on your face Uh, because previously you had uh, herpes uh, zoster infection and uh, you came to me for different different methods uh, to relieve this pain and i had advised you uh, some medications and also some non pharmacological methods like some meditation or i also uh, suggest you uh, referral to the psychologist and chronic pain clinic and meditation and you uh, you, you have agreed to that thank you Okay, I'm with Vasmaan. Okay. Got it. The card appropriately. It's both the patient knowledge about the shingles. Uh, you have also uh, completed the task. Explain the side effects okay. and even the surgery point was also addressed. So, uh, regarding the non-pharmacological treatment, uh, again use the cohesive devices like first of all, secondly, and thirdly. Right. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am Dr. Natasha, GP at this locality. Uh, may I know your name, please? My name is James. Uh, well, Mr. James, I was just going through your files, and it's written here that you are just planning for a holiday overseas. Well, yeah, that must sure. be very exciting. Yeah. Uh, okay, that must be very exciting. Yeah, indeed, doctor. Uh, well, you got your uh, medical examination done, and you are here to discuss it with me. Uh, am I right? Yeah. Uh, well, what are your expectations from this uh, medical examination? uh i think it will be normal because uh, it's just a normal checkup i have to provide to the insurance company okay okay uh well uh, depending upon the all, uh, all the conditions and all the checkup uh, in your physical examination uh, all the examination was normal except a single finding which is your blood pressure uh, which came out to be a little bit uh, higher than expect uh, a much higher at much higher reading than expected higher, which is actually higher Well, it's one ninety by one ten actually. Well, it's surprising for me, doctor. Like you know, I'm. I, it's it's really surprise for me. 
Well, I, I totally understand. It must be very overwhelming. And I am very concerned about such a high blood pressure level. Indeed, doctor. It is also a point of concern for me. that. Uh, yeah, it must be very overwhelming. Totally understandable. Yeah. Well, it's quite a high blood pressure reading, which is increased risk for the stroke as well as for the heart diseases. Um, uh, are you getting my point so far? Yeah, or I'm do you want to you. ask any question at I'm the moment? You. Okay. So what needs to be done for uh, that? Well, I... Okay. When can I ask you a few personal questions? Uh, sure. Well, uh, did you ever had problem with your blood pressure before? No. This is the first time. That's why I'm quite surprised. Well, can you tell me that are you stressed or anxious about anything at all? No, my job is stressful. That's why I'm going for vacation. Besides that, there is no uh, stress on okay. going. Okay. Uh, well, uh, do you smoke, Mr. James? Uh, it's not regular, but okay, at least. Okay. Well, what about drinking? Uh, same. Same. Uh, well, uh, how many drinks a month or a week and how many Fine, packs uh, of cigarettes? Sorry? Okay, Inli. Okay, Inli. Okay. Yeah. What about your diet, dietary habits and lifestyle? Uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm having a healthy lifestyle. Uh, what type of food do you usually take? Do you take a lot of salt or fats? Mm, not that much. Okay, okay. Well, uh, at the moment, we will be needing to, uh, it is required for you to take a pill or two for your blood pressure to be managed at the moment. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Okay. Uh, well, uh, we will be prescribing you a single pill or two to bring your blood pressure down to the normal level. And later on, if you don't have any other question at the moment, we will be moving towards the treatment options as well as with the assessment and investigations. Do you want me to continue? Yeah. Uh, well, we will be arranging for further blood tests first, uh, like ECG, cholesterol, urine analysis, etc., so that we know the cause of the problem. Uh, um, this can be stress-related as well. We want to know the root root cause, basically, which can be renal as well as related to your endocrine system or the heart diseases, so that we can treat it accordingly. Uh, well, the treatment will be including diet as well as exercise as well as underlying cause of the disease. Uh, mm -hmm. Am I clear so far? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, one reading, one high reading of blood pressure doesn't necessarily mean that it's a high blood pressure and you will be needing medication. It can be stress-related as well. Uh, am I clear so far? Yeah. Well, and uh, well, let me reassure you, Mr. James, that after all this workup and as soon as we know the root cause, it will be totally treatable. Doctor, do you think that I, I need to uh, cancel my plan because I'm quite worried about that? Oh, no, no, no. I totally understand your concern, but uh, let me reassure you that you won't need to cancel your plan at all. You will be totally able to enjoy your holidays. Okay. Do you have any other question you, uh, you want me to clear for you? Uh, no, it's fine now. And do you want me to summarize this whole situation for you? Okay. Okay. Well, uh, as you got the medical examination uh, done in the detail, only the blood pressure was higher than normal. It was actually 190 by 110, which is quite a high reading. Uh, it is a risk factor for the stroke as well as for the heart disease. And uh, as you told me earlier that you are having some stress uh, on your work. So stress can be leading to the blood pressure. But we will be doing the full workup, uh, including your ECG, cholesterol, urine analysis, and all the systemic examination so that we know exactly what is causing the blood pressure to be raised so much so that we can treat the root cause. Uh, firstly, we will be managing your diet. And secondly, the exercise will be advised. Uh, we will be giving you one or two pills at the moment to bring your blood pressure down. But then according to the cause, we will be treating Thank you, you further. Thank you. Because, Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, fine, you. I hope you get well soon. Yeah. Thank you very much. It was fine, ma'am. I you. appreciate your counseling. You started the card appropriately, okay. uh, had the rapper building skills. After that, you have, uh, you know, like uh, 
ask the patient regarding to his lifestyle. But you have to ask some person question. Uh, you need to take the permission. If you can, uh, you can say. Sir, I took. I took yeah. that. Do you mind if I can ask the person question? Like that. Yes, I I asked yeah. that. Yes. Uh, anyhow, it was fine. I appreciate that.